crafty ones this is Pam Benny with Pam's Paper Place and I have a two finished fall journals they will be available in my Etsy store pen to paper by Pam so I thought I would show them to you they're basically the same just uh, a few different things like this has this button and this one has that button um, this one has a pine cone so I'll call this one pine cone and this one I will call um, acorn Put an acorn there so basically they're the same I'll just start with one and then maybe quickly go through the other so this one is called acorn and here's the um, buttons leaves mushroom the acorn so this one's called acorn there's a real pretty leaf here and um, it measures eight and a half by six and um, the covers a burlap it's coated in the inside durable um, I stitched this barn uh, with the uh, pumpkins and the truck stitch that on to this um, burlap and then this is a uh, coated burlap on the inside and then we have a couple leaves and a flower in the button and then here we have a little button some cloth and look we have some cute uh, truck ribbon that is the closure there's some leaves poking out uh, right here there's a sunflower real cool button and another flower with a button and then it wraps around the uh, the truck ribbon I think it turned out really cool this is a wood button here too okay so here's the pocket I stitched a little uh, leaf stitching there into that pocket we have this um, card it says get well but it was cute with a little tree here's a flash card and I have a leaf brad there so that this can kind of swivel and there's a, um, a little tab there so that goes in the cover this cute little animal uh, paper here oh there's one difference too I have um kind of like a label here on the back and the other one is in the front just because it's centered better in the back than it is in the front on this one and we have this trim here along there pocket with some more of that decorative leaf stitching this is an invisible pocket we have a little green vellum bag here and we just have a few things that you could journal on. And that's about you. Cute. You put a picture. You could add more things into that. So I thought that was cute with the leaf paper and this cute little fox you could write on. And that little here. We have this. It's like a faux um, coffee dye I get from Amazon. It went really pretty with this paper. Um, autumn days. Here's a little tuck. I put a card um, playing card with the leaves and then I sew it down the middle of this right here I think I need to ink and I'll paint it so yeah sew down the middle of that and that goes here um, and then this has been torn and inked and it has this little like little label here and I love this uh, you know how the page kind of flows and it's it's nice for writing but on this side you see I did a the stencil and I do have a couple videos of how I showed some of uh, what I did to make this and then I added these tiny little leaves they're dimensional and then over here it says changing colors and added some falling leaves there it's coffee dyed got some leaves along the edge here 
and I decoupaged a napkin around the edge here um, and so you have some kind of a texture which is cool and we have ledger and this has been inked and torn I may add just a little bit of you know tape I'm not sure I'm just gonna let it go we don't need to do it anymore I've done so much but then here's a like stamping here and that's pretty the way that lays down and then here is um, some leaves I'm Made it a pocket, beautiful paper. Um, we have a little mushroom tag with eyelash trim here. And um, this uh, little paper, I stamped a fox and a mushroom and a little tag. And then you can write in here. This little tuck there. And you can see the little burlap right here off the edge. And here's a burlap pocket. And the paper is orange here. It goes well with the, the scrapbook paper and this tag here with the twine. This I had sprayed and it says so very grateful. It has some jute here with burlap and a little uh, metal leaf. This has been torn and inked and then stenciled for writing and a little mushroom stamp. I did stenciling here. Added a little leaf. We have some coffee dyed paper. And on the edge here, we have, I mean, it can be a little tuck or just a little decor of collage that I added there. And that coffee dyed paper. And then here, there's just a tiny little pine cone there stamp and then I added these pine cones uh, onto this echo print paper from Louise Hensel and then here in this sheer plastic pocket I have um, this flowers and I added my tape here and um, added some paper whoops I guess I have to cover that I don't know why they do that um, so I'll leave that out and that also goes in the back. Autumn days are here again. So that's just on the other side of this. But I'm going to fix that. And then here's a cute little hedgehog stamp. And I added some, um, like I like to do, eyelash trim. Here's a fabric flip with the trucks. And some leaf fabric and some orange um, burlap and on here and they got pumpkins in the truck and we have a little pumpkin charm did some stamping here and it says autumn leaves are falling and you can also see the leaves along the edge here and some of the um, leaves sticking out here of the book writing here we have a little tab and we have a leaf charm on that side. And this is a fabric pocket that says gratitude. We have some fibers here and look, you got a cute little bunny and it says you're sweet. You could add a picture there. And then we have a graph paper and on these holes I reinforced them. And I added this pretty, some pretty fibers here. This um, paper with the leaves going along the edge here. And then on this side, I have this cute little fairy and then this little leaf, which is a pocket. And it holds this really cool, big um, journaling spot. We have some parchment paper little mushroom stamp this I did uh, stenciling here you can see the leaves and the little flower and leaf uh, more for writing little mushroom and I did um, glue this down it says autumn splendor this is gorgeous paper I think it might be bow bunny but I'm not positive it's just beautiful I added this paper here and then you can just tuck the little leaf to hold it shut Beautiful paper.
On this side, I have a, a belly band with this truck and pumpkins. And this is a, a bag here with the pumpkins and truck. And I added this tag and added burlap and a button and some eyelash trim. And if things are the same, I'm not going to pull them out of the other one. You'll, you'll see it in this one. So this one is called Acorn. And here I added a twine, this little tab here, and this says, give thanks. And we have a diagonal pocket, and I have a, like a little ticket. Fall turns to gold. And it's pretty paper here. And then I took one of these Betty Crocker vintage recipe cards and uh, did some stitching. And that was like a little, it looks like a top of a spool. And we have fall, fall recipes. And then here we have some Tim Holtz people. Cute. And then this little bag, and I added these uh, elements that I fussy cut out. And then there's a tag here. And this uh, I just put in here to strengthen the bag and just to give it something cute to look at. It doesn't pull out. It just says, I love, love autumn. And then this comes off. Look how cute this post-it note is with that little possum. He's in the tree and there's acorns and leaves, so I thought that was perfect. Got back in there. And then here's uh, here is the metal with the uh, with the little charms and buttons. Uh, we have a little glassine bag here again, and just a few things: a uh, little cards, score paper. And added a pretty little leaf sticker. We have uh, Thankful Always. And then a guest check. And I just sewed down uh, one of these little coin things. And then you can see the leaf here. Uh, here's the rest of that beautiful, on the other side of that beautiful paper. And there's a leaf here. As you can see. And this little tag with seam binding and uh, beautiful colors and that little fairy so I can tuck here um, more lines here and a little acorn stamp did some stenciling parchment paper cute little fawn and I found another little deer little fawn for that one I think the other one has a fox then I did a stamping here and another little stamp of a mushroom and a place to put a picture or a journal. And I added a leaf there. Count your blessings. And from the little uh, bag, I fussy cut that truck out and put that there. It's a little bit of lined. And on this side, it's graph. Here uh, we have a little, it's like a little tablet with just a few little things and this is lined so you could also write there and it has a little um kind of a rose gold gold paper clip and here's another little mushroom sticker we have lined paper and i have a stamp of an acorn and this has been through um an embossing folder to look like uh, wood and then I added this here little paper more beautiful paper here and I just added a few little things uh, soups and stews that looks good like fall and a gratitude list
we have a little leaf here and this um, see this like wrapped around here so it's like a little tuck with the leaf and a cute little jar with a really pretty gold foiled tag with twine and I added some of this fun fiber at the top of this beautiful fall leaf paper and this will go in here And this is a cute little stamp, penny black stamp. And then I added some fun little sparkly stickers for that little fairy, mushroom fairy. Added this cute little girl, Tim Holtz girl. And this says, uh, documenting your story. She's sitting there with a basket of apples, I think, or a basket of something. Did stenciling here. scrapbook paper I added a um, playing card and just a little place to journal and this is coffee dyed paper and here's the other side of that clear bag and I added some these little paper uh, leaves and then you can see uh, some more little leaves sticking out here um, added some my uh, Age tape, cute little fox, and a little mushroom stamp. And then I added my tape here onto this coffee dyed paper and, and a little leaves sticker. This is coffee dyed. I added some age tape, Harvest of Blessings, and we have a cute little mouse and pumpkin and leaves. And torn edges that have been inked so a lot of work goes into these yeah like I said I may just add a few little age tapes <clears throat> here and there but basically I'm done <clears throat> excuse me a pine cone here we have a pocket this is a die cut and this was from the Dollar Tree this little it says happy fall and it's just a little paper here you could write on and in this pocket this beautiful paper we have this um, feels like authentic with the pumpkins and this is a let's see beautiful card nature study thought that was pretty to go in here so you could write a lot in there here um this awesome scrapbook paper. I added these little leaves here. And then here's a paper bag that I added a few things to. And then you have this paper bag and it says fall crafting. And this, I think it's a Tim Holtz ephemera piece and I just sewed uh, the leaf to it. Goes in a little paper bag and then the leaf sticks out so that goes like that and we just have a tiny little tag I may add a little uh, twine uh, what do you call it oh, trim here the little tag and here we have the um, ledger paper and I did the same thing where I added uh, some fibers to it here we go on the side and here this was a really fun stencil that I did and then we have the leaves around here um, we have a playing card and just some dimensional leaves here the in, uh, index card has been coffee dyed blessings added to this oh you know what did I what did I do here oh I forgot I no I'll have to do that to the other one I think if I can well this tucks in here that little but this forgot comes out like this so you can journal here that's right if I can do it to the other one I will this is farmer's market and we have a farmer's market a couple pieces of a this like note paper 
That's pretty. I believe it's a bull bunny. <clears throat> Added a stamp here. And um, <clears throat> we have a paper clip. And we just have this that says fall with uh, eyelash trim. And this holds the envelope here. Like so, it says Gordon's Pumpkin Farm. Oh, and this goes here too. And do I have anything in here? I think I do, yeah. I have a, I think it's a Tim Holtz Wood Sorrel Family. It's just a little card that you could journal on. Oh, and look at the cool uh, stamp that I have with the uh, truck. I love how that looks. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And then this is the last pocket. I have a few things in here. Let's escape to the woods. And we have this pocket here, and I guess, Chuck, I added this uh, to the top, sewed it. And then this card, a time to give thanks, a time to celebrate. And then, um, looks really good. Like a fall Reuben sandwich and almond coleslaw. And then I, you can see the uh, leaves poking out here that I added along the edge like I did at the beginning. And then this I have at the beginning of the next um, journal, but it looked better here in the back. Fall, Autumn, Harvest, Blessings, Gratitude, Family. So I added that. And then here you have a pocket that you can add whatever you want here. So I think they're really nice journals. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through. And let me see if I can quickly. So this is acorn because, wait, yeah, there's an acorn here. So this I'll call acorn. Then the next one I'm going to call pine cone because it's basically the, about the same, but it has a pine cone. Uh, and it has a different button here, but basically the rest is the same. This is basically the same, um, except this one says a cheerful hello. Basically the same. And see, I put this one on the cover here because it fit better, and the other one fit better on the back. We still have this twine here. This is the same. I'll just show you if something is different. Same. Same. Let's look if anything's different. It's the same. As you can see, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Got the little pumpkin here, charm. The leaf, this one might be brown. I think the other one was orange. And this one is, it's not happy people who are thankful. It's thankful people who are happy. And then this has a different animal. I think the other ones were uh, bunnies. This is a different fairy. This might be a different fall card there. This is basically the same. It might have just, you know, different pictures and different things here. But basically the same. And this one has, uh, be thankful. The other one might have had a different card. And the pocket is the same. 
might be different fairies here. Probably a different stamp, and this is a fox. The other one was a deer. And the recipe here is chili. This one just has different, uh, this paper is different, uh, the leaves might be different, and then I just added different things here, but what's inside is the same. Yes, I did, did add, oh, that's trim. I'll go back and add that to the other tag. And this one is, um, I will, um, score that and do what I did with the other one so it's like on a hinge this is the same and this is a little different the pockets a little different here the same and it has autumn soup and there's that twine here and this is a little different paper here and then you could add things into here so thank you so much for watching, and like I said, uh, Pen to Paper by Pam, this will be listed in my Etsy, and uh, one will be acorn, and one will be pine cones. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and um, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.